My name's Nikki Drew and I'm an anatomical pathology technologist, or an APT for short. I've been a nurse for a long number of years and then I trained in cytology, which is a lot of microscope work and looking at cells and disease in cells. And then I progressed through to mortuary work and the dissection and, and work involved in a post-mortem. A normal day, we'll come in, we'll check fridge temperatures, we'll check the deceased patients that are resting with us, and we'll book any in that are new overnight. So that's checking all their identities, making sure everything is in order. In my mortuary, we accept patients from the, the community as well as the hospital, and we also accept for, uh, for forensic deaths, which are home office, which is suspicious, murders, or accidents where there's been another person involved. After that, we'll do post-mortems, and we can do up to 10 in the morning. So it's quite heavy going, it's very intense. And we've got to deal with paperwork and regulations and all kinds of things as well in amongst all that. It's, it's very regulated, it's very strict, the rules we have to stick with. In the afternoons, we're dealing with families or funeral directors, the coroner, the police. It's, it's a lot more intense than people think it is. The biggest channel in challenges are probably emotional and because we're dealing with bereaved families and it's not always an expected death. They can be traumatic deaths, they can be suicides, it can be very difficult. But we also have the challenges of reconstruction where somebody has been in a traumatic death and we have to make that person look like their family is expecting. Make sure that you concentrate on science subjects, particularly biology, it's incredibly important. And also your IT stuff, because that is becoming more and more involved in our work with the CT scanning, it's IT based. With the imagery, it's IT based. So concentrate on your biology, concentrate on that kind of, of route. Um, but also don't neglect your creative things because your creative things are the bits that are going to keep you going through your really difficult emotional bits. Who do I admire? Without giving a name, there is a very, very important person in the hospital who does not give in and who is there for their team all the time. Without question, she's always there. And that is the sort of person that I admire. Somebody who knows what they want and will go for it, but is kind. I do do a lot of artwork, but I also love to be outside. And nature is a huge, huge comfort. You've always got the cycle of life and death, which is what I deal with daily. Um, but you've got, you've got that warmth, you've got that, that sort of caring, bringing you in and looking after you kind of thing. But artwork is my main source of, of hope, coping with everything that I'm dealing with. Be brave, be brave. And if it's a career that you think other people are going to laugh at or are going to think you're weird about, be brave. It's, it's out there to do and it's massively, massively interesting. <laughs>